Hello and happy November 1st. November 1st is here and that means one thing, Christmas is fully here. I'm here for it. I need some Christmas spirit right now. Seriously, I feel like, especially now living here in Florida, Halloween is almost like overdone. <laughs> Cause we seriously started Halloween back in like beginning of August, it felt like, seriously. So I actually yesterday on October 31st, proper Halloween, I actually was like at home, I was like trying to put on like Hocus Pocus on Disney Plus and I just couldn't get into it. I actually started undecorating all of my Halloween stuff and I was like, I am just so ready for Christmas. And if you know Disney, that is exactly what Disney does. November 1st starts Christmas. They are known for the parks doing overnight transformation. And I mean, the Disney elves, they fully come in and they take down all the Halloween decorations. And seriously, overnight, they make it go from like midnight, Halloween night, it's fully Halloween, to then the very next day, it is full-blown Christmas. So I just got here to Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna head into the park. Already I'm seeing some decorations up. We have the garland up. Mickey and Minnie topiaries have Santa hats on them. So they did it, like overnight, they worked their magic. It's gonna be interesting because I was seeing online people saying that they didn't do as much stuff this time around, like compared to years past, they haven't been able to like do all of the Christmas decorations just yet. I don't know how true that is. We're gonna get in here and see and try to analyze like from years past. I will say when I was driving in the parking lot, like the toll plaza, it still had fall garland up. So they didn't get to that yet. But you can see right here, look at this. The topiaries, Mickey and Minnie, they are fully in their Christmas best. I love it so much. Okay, so let's head into the park. I'm ready for some Christmas magic. The train station has the garland all strung across it. I love it so much. I'm also trying to remember if the Mickey, like topiary in the middle there, like the planted Mickey head, if that was red before or if that was something else. Because that would be awesome if they like changed that to go with the, you know, red, red and green theme for Christmas. That's really awesome. And then for the 50th anniversary, they premiered these last year that instead of the traditional Christmas garland, every once in a while they have one of these that it has more gold touches to it. I love how regal this looks. It's amazing. And look at the snowflake as well. That's so, so pretty. Like I said, I'm here for it. I was kind of having a bad day, to be quite honest. I like to be transparent on the vlogs. And sometimes you're just like, I just need the Christmas spirit. And that's what I'm here for today. I am so ready for it. I'm wearing, I broke out my on holiday Disney Christmas tea. And I have to appreciate it. I've seen a lot of other guests that also have on Christmas attire. So everyone's embracing it today. And it's a very good thing to see. So coming in, it looks like Town Hall has the garland. Oh, they have like candy cane garland over here. Right this is up. amazing. Also, if you would like to plan a visit to Walt Disney World to get to see all the holiday decorations, or if you wanna shop for the perfect gift for somebody in your life, you can give them the gift of a Walt Disney World vacation by contacting my preferred travel agency, 407, and the On Vacation Company. The gift of a Disney vacation is truly something that your loved one will remember forever. So be sure to contact the team at 407. To me, it seems like they have still everything like all of the decor they don't have the giant tree in the center but they usually don't put that one up overnight usually that does come like a week or so later and sometimes they even have to then like take it back down due to parade filming but i do think that they may have planted these overnight i don't remember these red what are these begonias i want to say someone correct me in the comments about my horticulture knowledge but i think these are begonias and i don't think that they had those i think it was something else when they had the scarecrows in here like just think a couple hours ago like less than 12 hours ago they had all those scarecrows in here and the disney team came in took all that halloween stuff out and christmasified magic kingdom christmasified is that a word i'm making it a word And then there's that classic Mickey wreath. And these are ones too that they changed these up. They always were more like just the classic green and red tones. And last year in celebration of the 50th anniversary, Disney introduced these. They have more of the gold accents to go with, you know, the whole iridescence golden anniversary. Okay. 
So this is interesting. The main street, side street, now has like this fully bumped out with a construction wall. So they're now redoing this part of the walkway, but they actually have that you can walk around on either side. Let me go show this. All right. I'll have to see you again for the afternoon. They have these they have these pathways on either side that you can now access this part of the street again. And they even put Garland back here in this back corner. Back here on the side street, even the window displays, some of them are being changed over, which is incredible to see. I didn't get to get a good look on the opposite side of the street. They usually do the Christmas Carol, like the Scrooge McDuck windows. And I didn't get to see if they've put them in yet. I'll have to come back down and look at that. But right now I am heading, I actually just placed a mobile order at Columbia Harbor House because I'm hungry. So we have to take a little break. And we're gonna take a little break from looking at the Christmas decorations. And then we'll get back on all things Christmas. But we're gonna take a stroll that direction and see what else we spot down Main Street here. But I've just been going crazy right now taking like a ton of pictures, everything. I'm so happy Christmas is here. the hub it looks like they have all the wreaths here look at this so I just had my go-to I have my salmon that I love from Columbia Harbor House I had that in my perfect little view up there in the like top window overlooking fantasy land so now I'm going to keep with the Christmas theme and I want to go inside of the Christmas shop and see just the new merch range for the Christmas season, the ornaments that they have this year. Also, I want to go on Main Street into the Emporium because as I was sitting there having lunch, I got on Instagram and I was seeing people posting about they have released like new spirit jerseys and a bunch of new Christmas merchandise for this year. So we have a lot to check out. This right here is the Christmas shop that's in Liberty Square. I always love coming in here and I haven't been in here in a minute. But yeah, this actually year round is forever a Christmas shop. So it's Christmas 365 days a year in here, which is awesome. And it smells like Christmas too when you come in here. This is cute. Oh wait, they're ornaments. Look at that. It's like a little train. Here are these sketchbook ornaments that they have for the different locations throughout the park. I haven't seen this one yet, the Enchanted Tiki Room. That is adorable, oh my goodness. Then this one right here is the one that I've had my eye on. Ariel's my favorite princess, and this is my favorite Magic Kingdom castle. I love that so much. Yeah, they even have these for the resorts as well, which is really cool. They have a whole wall of Haunted Mansion ornaments. They have this one that is in the style like I was just showing where then the backside you see the little scene from like inside the attraction, which I love. And I haven't seen this before, of Constance the Bride. They have the Hatchbox Ghost, which we did get announced at D23. We are getting a Hatchbox Ghost in our Haunted Mansion here in Florida. They have it currently out in Disneyland, but we will now have one in Walt Disney World. Also this little sign right here shows how many days until Christmas. We are now on November 1st, only 55 days. There's something about just walking by the castle that is so magical. Perfect thing to brighten the day up. Like I said, something I need today. Just getting my Disney fix, getting some Christmas magic, Disney magic. It is needed today. Sometimes you just have those days when you just gotta come over and do the things that you love. And it is just a crazy accomplishment to think like that the cast members can come in and like it's not like, okay, we're putting up all new Christmas. Like they also have to think about it. They have to take down what like yesterday at this time, there was full on Mickey pumpkins, everything down Main Street, like it was fully Halloween. So they have to like first undecorate and then redecorate with all the Christmas things. It's so cool. It's a neat time to like plan a trip for, to like be here over this week and get to catch both Halloween and then Christmas the very next day. My family and I, we actually did that one year and got to experience like coming back into the park the next day and all the Christmas decorations up and it is, so, so magical. This is my first time getting to be here as a local and experiencing it. And it's something that I always dreamed about because on that vacation, that was like the only other time in my life that I've gotten to see that overnight transformation happen. And I always said like the day that I live here, I want to be able to come over and witness this again. So this is really cool. And you can see the backside of the castle here has the garland. So Cinderella had her, 
her people got out there and they put up it's all blue tones for her for Cinderella it's beautiful and like I just mentioned my favorite castle my favorite princess is Ariel and I love the Little Mermaid castle it's my favorite castle in Magic Kingdom I don't think they decorate for Christmas though I might be wrong I have to go check that I wonder if Be Our Guest restaurant has their decorations up yet because that's something that they do where they fully decorate for Christmas and it looks like that Christmas special that Beauty and the Beast had that movie. It feels like you're stepping into that movie when you go inside there at Christmas time. It is so magical. I just remembered about that. I should make that a priority to get over here and get a reservation during the Christmas season. Yeah, no decorations for Ariel over here. They should get on that. Like, could you imagine that? I just want to see some like garland strong, like with some seashells. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. That's like a missed opportunity. I want that to happen. Also, I'd want to DIY that. Like Disney, if you need me to like give you the, the idea for that, what I have in mind, call me. Wouldn't that be so cute? I would love that. Oh my gosh, some like seashell, coral, garland. That'd be so cool. I want that for my house. So a big thing that happened today, they released a Mr. Toad popcorn bucket and they actually, for limited time, they have this special photo op here in the park that is Mr. Toad themed and he like appears in a magic shot with you, which is so, so cool. But yeah, everyone's like freaking out about this popcorn bucket. And they actually have a virtual queue in order to get the popcorn bucket. That's how big of a deal it was, which is pretty cool. I'm heading back into the Big Top Circus area because I had a different mission. I wanted to come back here and I wanted to see the updates for the train, but it appears that this is where you can go to pick up the popcorn bucket. Yes, right here. So this is like, I mean, such a big to-do. This is like the Figment popcorn bucket all over again. Seeing things like that, like just the excitement that people get for anything that's like a throwback. Like Mr. Toad, like his ride hasn't been here for years, but literally everybody loves him so much and there's like such a hype around Mr. Toad right now. Like if they were to, it's always been rumored like Disney was to make a park with like all the extinct attractions. I think things like this prove that something like that would, it would do so well. Cause I feel like if you're just a Disney fanatic, you get so engrossed in the Disney history. Like I was never here, like Mr. Toad was before my time. So I never got to experience it when I was here at Magic Kingdom. But just as a Disney fan, like, you know, you grow up just like knowing about the culture and like you love it. Even today's generation would get so into it. I think that's been proven with when Disney does these different merchandise things and stuff. So I don't know, maybe that will be something we see in the future. That would be really cool. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that. Cause I know I totally would be, I just want the great movie ride back. <laughs> if I could have that come back, I would be thrilled. So yeah, I headed back here because it has been talked about. Disney did make an official announcement that the train will be coming back. They still have not given an official opening date, but we know it will be sometime probably in like early 2023. They're really being closed lipped, but they have a little video go live of literally the train like moving. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see from this perspective, like how close they are. But I think that is gonna be like so popular. Like when that, reopens oh my gosh that day can you imagine guys i bet the weights are gonna be crazy for that okay so now i'm heading to go ride the people mover speaking of the most popular rides in magic kingdom and it appears that the people mover like stopped running right now so maybe those people will get evacuated they're gonna live my dream if they get evacuated they'll be living my dream but i was about to say i want to go ride the people mover right now but if it stopped it might be down i don't know Let's go check it out. Also a Disney tip, in some ways rides being down can actually work in your favor because if they're down for too long and they have to like, you know, evacuate the queue line, then when they come back up, there's nobody in the queue line. So you can like rush in and be like one of the very first people. Oh, and I just saw the, the people mover cars are moving again, quite literally. So we're good to get in line. Okay, here we go. This is time. Gracias. Here comes takeoff. Please step carefully onto the moving platform. Well, the breeze feels nice. This is the TTA today, which I love. I love it. November 4th, and it's hot. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. I'm a tiny People Mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Orac. It is November 1st. Let's see the construction update on Tron. It, last time I wrote this with my parents, that was about like a week and a half ago now? now Two weeks ago? Something like that. Speedway, I was shocked like how far 
From back here at this angle, like where you just see the structure itself and you don't see any of the cranes or like construction, it looks like a working attraction, right? Like here, right here, you can see where they're still like doing some stuff with the exterior, the pathways. They are coming along. Wow. It's so fascinating. I love watching this. So cool. Cool coming out of here and like looking at the train tracks. Oh my gosh, look, there's like workers right there. Probably because they're working on the train tracks or something. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please you can see back there the track. Oh, now you can't see it, but the track is not fully intact for the train. And for a while, like the longest time, you could only see like part of the train track. So it seems like everything is connected now again, which is good. So in theory, a train can run on the track. Thank you. Oh, we're stopped. Oh my gosh. Will we get evacuated? <laughs> it seems like I overheard the cast members talking. It seems like People Movers had a bunch of stops and delays today. Oh, the lights are on. Lights are on. Oh my gosh, will this happen? I just talked about this earlier that this is my dream. Oh my gosh, will this happen today? Could you imagine that? This RCA is like, it's a difficult offense. Difficult to play with her. Right, but holding it immediately. Darn. Oh, here we go. Look at this, the lights are still on. Oh, there they go. It's not a Magic Kingdom trip unless you're at people mover, so I'm glad I got to do that. Now I'm gonna go to Main Street. I wanna go in the Emporium, like I said. I wanna see all of the Christmas merchandise that they released today. So we're gonna go do that. And then I just might head over to the resort. I wanna go to Grand Floridian and see like, did the resorts get decorated? Are they getting ready for their gingerbread house, you know, that they do there? So I wanna go investigate all of that. So the Christmas festivities are continuing. Look at this right in front of Casey's. I just spotted, they planted poinsettias. We have the first poinsettias. We have the first poinsettia spotting of the day, of the season. I'm inside the Emporium, it's like crazy busy in here, but I'm on the search for Christmas, but look at this cat toy. It's a macaroon. I actually got Mickey something kind of like this, but it's not Disney themed, but how adorable. And it's on a string. His isn't on a string. And it has Marie Kitty. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? That's $17.99. This is the Disney Munchlins collection. I think that's how you say it. This has been like the latest craze, but these are Christmas ones. How cute is that? And they actually, oh my gosh, they smell like peppermint. It smells incredible. And these are like blind bags that you don't know which one you're gonna get. And the packaging is adorable. This is a cute little, cute little thing they got going. They also have like the packaging that it's like an ice cream treat and you get one of the scented plushes. Oh, here we go. I found the display that they have of what they look like. They're so cute. I like that they're scented too. Oh, I see some Christmas in the home section. I see Christmas. Let's go look at it. So they went with like a very simplistic kind of range for the home stuff. Not that big a fan of it, honestly. I, I kind of was expecting a bit more. They have this tree skirt. Mickey would love that. He loves to lay on tree skirts and this is literally like a Sherpa material. He would love that. But yeah, there's nothing really Disney about this other than it's very subtle. It's like the little pom-pom, but I kind of want some more, more Disney. A little underwhelming with some of this. And like, that's cute. Just not exactly my style. So I actually am not tempted by any of this Christmas stuff, believe it or not. Mugs are cute. I don't know, comment below. Are you a fan? What do you think of this? Oh, here we go, I found the apparel. So they have this zip up right here. That's cute, it's like a winter wonderland scene. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so cute. You see, this is my style. I like this with the this Walt Disney World logo with Christmas lights, and they're actually like shimmery. 
That is really cute. Oh, I like that long sleeve. That is really, really cute. Oh yeah, if I was to get something, I would definitely get that. I feel like this is gonna be extremely popular. A Walt Disney World Starbucks tumbler that is red and green. That is really, really cute. I like that. Oh, and then this is the thing I just saw online. They have this spirit jersey that has like a Santa Mickey. The back of it's all shimmery, like golden Walt Disney World. They also have it in child size. Oh, and the ears are pretty. They're very like classy. Here's a better look at the spirit jersey. And let's see the back side of it. Also, I felt the inside of that spirit jersey and it's like a sweatshirt material. So that makes me want it even more because it's like fleecy. Oh, this is also a cute sweatshirt. Mickey. Here's all the plush that they have. There's a cute mini Santa one. Oh, look at Woody the Pooh is like sleeping in his Christmas pajamas. And then there's the big guy right up top. It just keeps going. I keep finding new stuff. They have like this Christmas figurine. Here's some ornaments. You know, I'm a sucker for the ornaments. I like the sparkle on that. It's a photo frame too, so you can put a picture in there. And here's the 2022 one. Oh, there's also that holiday spirit jersey. That's really fun. I like that design. There's a different tree skirt over here. I like that one with the characters on it and the lights down the bottom. Now this is adorable if you're doing holiday baking. Look at these. That's really cool. There's even like a casserole Mickey Christmas dish. They also have these like snow globe ears that are cute. And they have a ton of this one. This one I really like. It's very, very classy Christmas. I think we found all the holiday merch. I'm sure there was things that I missed, but it was crazy back in here. Here I am now, as soon as you get out of the Christmas section, there's like room for activity. Literally everyone is like congregated back there seeing the new merch. Oh, and here's where I wanted to check and see if they've changed over the window displays. Okay, they haven't gotten to that yet. It's still the traditional window displays that they have during ordinary time here. But soon we're gonna have the Christmas Carol story and I can't wait to see that. Oh now this is interesting. Right here at the confectionery, they still have a Halloween window with the candy corn little nephews. So you can see it's still like kind of a transition. They don't fully have everything, but I think they've done a pretty good job. You know some place I've never eaten? Tony's Town Square. And right now I was just looking at, there's people sitting outside here on the outside seating and you can just like overlook Main Street. And also the reason so many people are here right now is because the three o'clock parade is getting ready to come by. And so just imagine that if you could time your, your reservation to like be able to sit there and then watch the parade as you're eating, that would be so cool. I wanna do that now. Hey guys, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video right here because I ended up having so much footage from this day that I wanted to go ahead and make going over to the resorts its own separate video because yes, the resorts were getting into the holiday spirit. The gingerbread house was going up over at the Grand Floridian. So that's going to be the next video coming. So for now, thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, leave me some comments. All those things go a very far way in helping to support me and the channel. And with that, make today magical and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.